This property was built in the late 1880s. Actually, the first resident moved in in 1888. And the architect for this residence, his name was Thomas Franklin Schneider. And he was a prolific architect. He created the Kairos, one of the very famous buildings near nearby. Um, he had a hand in Eastern Market. At some point, he was called the Prince of F Street. In 1925, the Musso Lit Club took residence of 1327 Art Street. Musso Lit stood for music, social, and literature. And it was elite black professional club. Uh, it had musicians, artists, poets, black rights leaders. This whole neighborhood at that time in the 1920s had a lot of famous black artists, sports people, politicians, lawyers, they were all here. And in the 1960s, 1961, the Musso Lit was, this residence was sold to a fraternity from Howard University in 1961, and they became residents. And what's nice about having the fraternity move in is they kept a lot of the traditions that Musso Lit had kind of started to become a neighborhood, society, group, local group for black students. Um, they did all sorts of wonderful charity work and work abroad and extended their programs for blacks in, in this area, in the city. So it's interesting that both organizations were pioneers and were the type of organizations that moved black culture forward. So that's why this history, this home is so special. It's very Logan and it's very DC. Love it.